In this video, I will show you how to connect your JavaScript to Binance Smart Chain. With one line of code, you will be able to interact with Binance Smart Chain, read information from Binance Smart Chain, and this will help you a lot in your project when you are building your amazing crypto app. If you like this kind of content, smash the like, click the subscribe button, and most importantly, remember that I come to you each and every day and I educate you about blockchain development. So if you like development, you like blockchain, you subscribe as soon as possible. So in order for a website to be able to to speak to the blockchain and get data from the blockchain, you need to tell your website which node to connect to. And it's very important that you pick a stable, fast and reliable node, otherwise your website will not function properly. So in order to ensure that your website works perfectly fine in all circumstances, I recommend that you use speedy nodes, which you can find if you sign up at moralis.io. When you have an account, you go to your dashboard and then you go here to speedy nodes in the menu. Speedy nodes function the way normal blockchain nodes function. However, they are a very special kind of node that ensures availability, ensures data correctness, and you can always trust a speedy node. So when you go to Moralis.io, you go to speedy nodes, you see Binance Chain Network, you click endpoints, and here you have mainnet, you have testnet, you have all the information you need, all links you need, and we will be taking this mainnet link, and now I will show you how to use it in your code, because this is all you need. You just need this link, this URL, and you can now integrate Binance Chain in your website. So let's start from scratch and build a simple website that shows the current block number on the Binance Smart Chain. So the first thing we do is that we start the HTML site and we include a script. This script is Web3. You always need to have Web3 when you're building a blockchain site. Then we open up the body tag and we close the body tag as well. So that's done. And so next, here inside of the body tag, we need to figure out how we will talk to the blockchain node. And here is where we will be defining our constant node URL, our first constant. And of course, we need to open a script tag because now we're going to JavaScript. And now I paste this URL that I got from speedy nodes. So as you can see, here is the URL, and this is the same URL that I got right here. So you just copy it, because this is what we'll be, we will be using in order to connect to the blockchain. So, so far, very easy. Next step is to actually use this URL in order to establish a connection to the blockchain. And we do it through this Web3 library, and it's also very easy to do. We write Web3 equal new Web3, and then we use HTTP provider, and then we pass this URL. We basically say, hey, use this node whenever we want to talk to the blockchain. And now the only thing we need to do is to ask the current block number. Bam, like this. So we do web3 because now we have this object which we can use in order to talk to the blockchain. And this object knows that this is the node it needs to talk to because we defined it here when we created the object. So now we can use this web3 object to ask the block number. And as you can see, uh, I ask the block number, then I wait for the response and I change a, um, a DOM element called block number, which we currently don't have, but let me add it. So I will go to body here and I will just add this uh, element, uh, text element. And so now I save this website, I go to the browser, I refresh, and as you can see, we get the current block number, 7863313. And if I go to uh, Binance Chain Scan, you see that this is the current block number, 313, and the last one here also is 313. And if I refresh, I see 319, I refresh here, Actually, our <laughs> here is 319. Our site was faster than the Etherscan, <laughs> a blockchain scan, block, uh, Binance Scan Blockchain Explorer. Yeah. <laughs> so let me refresh here. Now 324, refresh here. Three two, yeah, I mean, see, our node is actually faster than Binance Chain Scan node. Uh, why? Because it is a speedy node, because you get the power of Morales. So you can actually build a website that gets information faster than Block Explorer. So let's refresh again. So now 329, we go to Etherscan. Yeah, my, we're before Etherscan. I mean, this is the power of Morales. Uh, so that's why I'm telling you, speedy nodes are fast. Why do you think they're called speedy nodes? Because they're super fast. So this is how you get the current block number in your website. Very easy. I mean, if you know simple JavaScript, you know this. Next step is to ask something else. Uh, and I thought what would be good to demonstrate. And here I want to demonstrate this. So we use Web3 
uh, object and now we ask details about the transaction. So if I copy this hash and I go to block explorer and I search it, as you can see this transaction happened in this block and it has some data what actually happened during the transaction and this is what we want to get from the node. We, we want to get this information. So given a transaction hash, we want to ask the node to get the information about the transaction for us. And so this is what we do. We, we use Web3 object and we say get transaction. And then as you can see, I get the transaction data into a DOM element called the transaction data, which we currently don't have. Let me quickly add it. And I'll, I will put it uh, here under block number. And then we just uh, fill it with the content we get back. So we go back to the page, we refresh and we see this. And as you can see, we get transaction data, we get the block hash, we get the block number. Uh, it ends with 959, which is correct because if we check this transaction, you see uh, block number 959 ends with 959. You get from 0D94 and here from 0D94 uh, and so on and so forth. So as you can see, this is everything you need to have in order to speak to the blockchain. And now I showed you two methods, two functions, get transaction, get block number. Of course, there are so many other things you can ask. You can ask about a block. So here we asked about the transaction. You can do the same, but for a block, you can really go wild into Web3 library. And I recommend you as a follow-up to this video, if you want to learn more, go and learn about other features that Web3 library gives you and go heavy on the node and Explore it. Explore what else you can ask from the node if you're new. But now we have a fast node. It's super, super fast, super reliable. And now you can go ahead and you can build your Binance Chain project. Guys, if you enjoyed, be sure to smash the like as soon as possible. Subscribe. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Each and every day I come to you and I teach you something about blockchain development. That's why you subscribe and that's why you watch. See you all very, very soon.